As a YouTuber, the number one goal you should have for your channel is hitting 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Because when you do, your channel will be able to generate revenue. And wouldn't it be great if you could make money doing something that you love? Hitting 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours is hard. It took me years to do it. Today, I'm going to share four tips that I hope could help. Number one, make videos that people want to watch. That means doing some research. Say, for example, you're interested in visiting places or making cooking videos. What you can do is do a quick Google search on locations that may interest you. You look at the locations that may be generating a particular amount of traffic and you make videos along that line. Don't be concerned with others have done it and if I do it, I'll be a copycat. There's nothing new under the sun except for your perspective. So you visiting a location, feel free. Number two, you need to choose the titles for your videos wisely. Choose things that inspire curiosity or desire in someone. So say, for example, you make a vlog about proposing on a beach. With a little bit of thought and planning your video, you could perhaps choose a title that says the best beach to propose on. And it inspires or invokes a little bit of curiosity in the mind of the viewer as to what might be this creator's opinion as the best beach to propose on. Choose your titles wisely. The next thing, design thumbnails that you will click on. Yes, you could use the default video thumbnails that YouTube chooses for you, but you could put a little more thought into your project and say, I am going to pull up a tool like Canva and use that to design a thumbnail. I am going to maybe your, your channel or your video features faces that might spark some sort of interest from the viewer. You might use a tool like background remover and remove the background and design something that you could click on. Because a thumbnail is very much like when you walk into a store and you see a product on the shelf and something catches your eye. When you do a search, will someone click on this video because it catches the eye? Number four, collaborate with other YouTubers is a very easy way to grow your channel. Now, you may be concerned about I am a small YouTuber and I'm probably reaching out to someone with a lot more subscribers than me and they may not want to collaborate. And if you're collaborating with someone because you're interested in their numbers, you know, chances are you wouldn't get through or the collaboration wouldn't work well. What you want to do is instead find some way to team up with that person and create a video that in, in, in terms of selling the idea to them, create a video that says, you know, there's some form of value. So say, for example, you're into cooking. Maybe there's someone that does cooking videos and you could collaborate with them because you have a new way that you want to approach the recipe. Something I forgot to mention earlier in terms of creating videos that people want. You want, because you're trying to build watch hours, you're trying to hit that 4,000 watch hours. At first, when I was creating YouTube videos for my main channel, which is Lyndon Batiste, my videos were about in the range of one minute to three minutes. And if I had stuck with that format, I, I would have still been climbing towards 4,000 watch hours. So maybe a sweet spot is videos that are in the 10 to 15 minute um, bracket, you know, but it must be a video that creates some sort of interest that someone will stay watching because you have there's something in it for the viewer so you want to be wise about the video length i'm not at all suggesting that you make videos that are padded and longer than they need to be but you want to be hitting consistently good videos in the 10 to 15 minute range if you're totally new to youtube and you have no videos on your channel one of the things i suggest that you could do is probably create about six to seven videos, 10. And every day you post one of those videos with a, a title that inspires curiosity so that when someone comes to your channel, they don't just have one video to watch, but maybe about 10 videos 
and it sends a signal to, to YouTube that people are looking at the content on this channel. So I hope these tips help you. And if you have any questions about YouTube, feel free to drop them in the comment section or share your channel. I'll try to address them as best as I can when time allows. If you've hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours and you're interested in getting your channel monetized, I'll put a video. It should pop up on the screen anytime now and you could take a look at that. So good luck with your YouTube channel and feel free to drop a comment if you have any questions. Take care. Good luck. Bye.